Hello, it's red day 257 for me today and you may notice something different behind me. I have a new race number on my wee uh, studio thing which is like my chest of drawers with a race number pinned to it, my most recent race number. But yes, new one! Uh, as opposed to the old one, which was the Inverness one that has been stuck up there since March. Anyway, this is a very bashed up uh, race number. I've put it back together a little. Um, you had the option uh, when running the virtual Great North Run to print out your own race number and uh, printer paper is not the greatest thing for race numbers. It gets very torn up. Um, so I actually ended up taking it off at the point when I met up with Geff at about uh, four miles in and gave it to him to uh, take on to the next meeting point and he uh, carried it round in a running rucksack and um, bought some blueberries for my after race snack and they kind of leaked so it's probably got blueberry juice and all sorts on it and it was all ripped up so I had to kind of sellotape it back together but it is a new race number and so I'm kind of fond of it and it's going to sit there until I uh, get round hopefully sometime this week to putting all my race numbers and medals together in a running collage which I've been meaning to do since the frames arrived for them a few weeks ago. But anyway, race itself. Um, mixed feelings about the race. Um, I'll start off by saying that I came in at um, around about 2 hours and 25 minutes. Um, that is about 2 minutes slower than my PB that I set in Inverness in March. Um, given everything that has happened this year, with lockdown and races all being cancelled and postponed and not having any of those to train for or focus on or benchmark myself against. I think I have to be happy with coming so close to my PB. I mean, it's, um, it's still, you know, other than Inverness, it's still massively faster than any other half marathon I've ever run. Um, I think what I was really disappointed about was um was the pacing of it really I mean to a certain extent that was kind of out of my control I went out with the social run group but I've been doing a few of the longer Great North Run training runs with and um on the training runs I've been just about managing to keep up at the back and uh pretty much getting round um, in roughly the same time as everyone else. Um, but today, um, it did, um, the pace generally was quite a bit speedier and um, I managed to keep up fairly well uh, for half of the race. When we got to the halfway point, I was only a minute or so coming in to um, have a halfway break with everyone else. Um, and uh, in the process of that very fast first half, I managed to get both my fastest 5k time since uh, since Parkrun was still going earlier this year, and also my best ever 10k time of uh, about an hour and three minutes, um, which is much faster than I've ever run a 10k before. It is incredibly promising for me trying to get my sub hour 10k next year uh, but at the same time not what I wanted to be doing in a half marathon because both of those are very indicative of going out far too fast and burning myself out which kind of happened in the second half. Um, Everybody just got further and further away and I was really flagging and um, um, I could still see Alan because he's lovely and was waiting for me uh, and eventually I kind of said, you know, just go ahead because I'm going to be slow for the rest of the race. But um, uh, it was lovely. The group all waited for me at the end and um, 
we had a sort of um, mini party <laughs> at the end. So it was it was really, really lovely to run with that group. I just, um, I think that um, I would probably have uh, run perhaps a better result if I paced myself a bit better. And obviously if I'd paced myself a bit better, I would have fallen behind a lot sooner and maybe I should have done that. But um, I wasn't absolutely 100% certain of the route because I'd not run it before. I'd looked at it on the map. So I really did need to try and keep up with the group. So um, obviously that's a, a few lessons learned for if I'm going to do a virtual race running with other people again. Um, I'm not sure that that will ever happen again because I'm hoping, like everyone else, that we get back to real racing next year and that virtual races for most people will be very much a 2020 and done thing. Um, but um, either way, it certainly taught me today a lot about p uh, pacing errors and what I need to do to avoid them. So... Lots to think about, but um, I think the takeaway has to be that um, I was only two minutes off my PB. That is a really good result for a year that has not been um, amenable to training and getting good times. So i uh, got to be happy with that. And um, it was a really, really great atmosphere today. Um, so... Overall, kind of take it as a positive, and tomorrow goes back to uh, short runs and recovery training. Um, uh, so I'll do a few miles, possibly not till the afternoon. It depends how my legs feel in the morning, but I will let you know either way how I get on. <laughs>